Hey guys, Zero Jumps here. Just wanted to go ahead and show off a little bit of Diablo 3 footage. Sorry that it's not in HD. Unfortunately, I do not have a HD capture card, but I figured I'd show off a little bit of the console version of Diablo 3 and uh, talk a little bit about the, the changes I've noticed. All right, first off, the the biggest change, which is the the most important in my opinion, is uh, there's no auction house and you can play offline those were like two of the biggest things people were pissed about when the PC version came out now I can understand why they wanted to have online only the online only thing doesn't bother me too much for other people it does uh, for a lot of good reasons uh, the thing that bothered me the most <coughs> sorry about that the thing that bothered me the most is uh, was the loot uh, you can pretty much play hours upon hours of the game and not get jack. And it, no one really wants to play a game that's unrewarding to this end. Now, I can show you some of the legendaries I did get. I got this weapon that's called the Monster Hunter. I actually just got that here in Act 2 not too long ago. And then later on, I got this ring here which is a pretty good magic fine ring slash uh, I guess yeah there's some minus damage it, it adds some damage too and then of course I got this sucker I can tell you right now uh, when I was playing the PC version I got I think maybe one or two legendaries no I got three legendaries but the first legendary I got wasn't until level 57 the second one wasn't until somewhere in Inferno on level 60, and then the same thing again. The unfortunate part is, out of all those legendaries that I got, I can only use one of them. And it was a ring for uh, my barbarian on uh, the computer. Now, as you can see, I got quite a few different legendaries. Uh, I actually have an extra one in my uh, stash. I'll show you real quick. I can't use it, but to be fair, every other legendary I could use, and it was an upgrade to what I currently had. See, the only other, well, not the Infernal Helmet, because that comes with the, uh, the DLC pre-order thing. It's this right here. It's a uh, legendary quiver. It's pretty awesome. It's got decent stats, and uh, whenever I play Demon Hunter, it will get used. Now, other changes I've noticed, uh, obviously the game doesn't look as good on Xbox as it does on PC, but it looks better than me, mainly because I had a shitty video card. I was using a uh, 9800 GT, which is fairly decent, but uh, it's not really good for modern day games, so it doesn't look too great. But I could get a average of uh, like 30 frames per second on the PC. So, at least to me, it looks better. Minus, you guys won't be able to see the, the main differences with my non-HD video here, but I can assure you the quality is uh, pretty good. Uh, the frame rate is actually pretty good. The only frame rate drops I've seen in the game happen only when you're getting an achievement and or uh, you're doing like a challenge like say you get three challenges done all at once like here let me show you so if you get like three of these challenges done all at once for some reason it, it slows down a tiny bit when you get an achievement it slows down it, it takes a lot of frames per second away uh, it's not horrible and it doesn't last a very long time so I honestly wouldn't worry about it. Now, I don't know how it is on the PS3, so it may be the same or worse. Uh, as far as just general gameplay, I did notice that some of the dungeons are not as long. Like, uh, for example, when you do the, uh, you do Act One, and you're about to go before before you fight King Leoric. When you're getting ready to go find Kane, yeah, I know it's a little spoiler, but it's not that far in the game. Uh, you have to go through it. On average, I think it's uh, okay. This is different. 
Yeah, you have to go on. Uh, we think we have found the haunted chest spoken of in legends. Why do you need my help? Yeah, you have to go through like three different floors or something, and it seems like the console version of some of these dungeons are shorter. I don't know if it's because uh, some of the dungeons are. This is definitely different. Okay. All right, back to what I was saying. It's, it seems like some of the dun the dungeons are shorter, not just in like how many levels they are, but it seems like some of them are just shorter in general. Like they uh, they took all the existing dungeons from the PC version and they uh, shortened some of them. Now I'm not 100% sure on that because it's been a while since I played the PC version. I think the last time I played was uh was in March of this year, which was before all the major updates. So I'm not 100% certain on that. I'm sure anyone else who plays the game, the PC version, and they play this too, they might have a, a better idea of what's going on than I do. Hey, you want that? You want that? Wait, what's the other ring he has? Oh yeah, you want to keep that one. Oh wait, nope. Nope. Perfect. So, overall, there, there's been a few changes. It's still great as hell. Now, I haven't played it online, so I don't know if it's, uh... If they did really good with the networking or not. Because I don't currently have Xbox Live. I'm not sure if I'm going to get any more of it. I may just get a month or two. You know, if one of my uh, friends I usually play with gets the game. Because otherwise I don't really care to play multiplayer. Especially not after a few things I've been hearing about. Uh, supposed uh, hacks through USB. Alright, but besides all that, I'd, I'd have to say the game's pretty good so far. I can't say it's 100% perfect over the PC version, but it's definitely an improvement. Uh, I'll definitely do a update on my impressions of this as soon as I get to Inferno and eventually beat it, hopefully. But until then, I really can't give a, uh, a solid anything on it. Because I'm just in normal right now. So I'd still have to go through Nightmare, Hell... And gets Inferno again. But definitely the loot change is like the, the most important thing. You don't have to spend like weeks. Like on average. Uh, some people put in hundreds of hours before they even get a anything worthwhile. Not including legendaries. Not that a lot of the legendaries on PC were useful anyways. Because that was another problem, but overall it's a great game. i definitely say check it out. I can't, I can't necessarily recommend it until I go through the whole thing, but either way, it's, it's a fun action game. And I'm having a good time with it. But uh, there you go, guys. That's my uh, Diablo 3 impression on console. I would say definitely check it out, but uh, it, it may have a few problems that I don't know about besides this, but until then guys, I'll see you guys on the next video, and uh, alright, peace out guys.